Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor and today we are making spinners that are fully 3D printed with no additional parts. And to help us with this discussion, I have brought in not an expert, but definitely the target audience for spinners. Say hello to my son, everybody. Say hello to everybody, my son. Hey! I'm, and you're back again, so they're happy to see you. Three, this is the third video, right? Uh, uh, I think so. I, I was, the first video I was in was with Mo. Yep. Yeah, the Mo, Mo video. Mo puns. Most spinners, especially 3D printed spinners, have these little 608 skate bearings in them. And you can get these for a buck a piece. They're, they're not expensive. And they make for really good spinners. Here, do you want to take this one? Uh, now, this one has three bearings in it. And this is the comfortable fidget spinner by Anguino. These kind of fan you off, actually. Most yeah, you can hands. you can feel the air moving on them. It'd be neat to make one of these that did a better job of that. Mine's though. we have a Beyblade. Yep, this one has three of them in there to create some weight. This is the same one with only here. You can take this one. I'm keeping the ring. With only uh, uh, one in the middle and none on the sides, and it still spins pretty good. But clearly, the one with the weight spins a little bit better. Hey, but never mind that. Let's do a race. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Dies a lot faster. That I, I could have started early and I would have won. Yep. So, but we're not doing this. We are going to make a 3D printed spinner that is completely 3D printed using. Minus the extra part. Yeah. Well, this one has no extra you, you parts. Had to, you had to pop those things in. Extra. They're, they're all 3D printed though. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular design is called the Gear Bearing Hand Spinner by Cervantes, and this design. Uh, actually had a problem with it when I printed it. The bottom is not flat. So that made it so that when I printed it, I had to use supports, which is unacceptable to me. So I loaded it into Blender, flattened out the bottom, and started playing with it. And even the prints that I made, I've, I've printed just a ton of these. And the reason why I printed so many, it's noisy. The reason why I printed so many is because the first ones that I printed, like this one right here, just, no, this one doesn't move because it's, uh, too loose, in fact. Uh, so a lot of them were too tight to begin with. And this is a part of a discussion about uh, um, 3D prints that I need to go into and make a whole video about, about why it's hard to print accurately, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Tell, tell them what's wrong with this set, with this one right here. Um, too thin, and if you look, the gears, uh, some of them are really close together. And I found out that when that well, happens to... Well, fix it. To, fix it. Fix this one. Well, when that happens to it... All you gotta do really is to sort of push it down and then push it to the side a little, mm -hmm. and it's see, fixed. So you can't have it too loose and you can't have it too tight. If it's too loose, the gears pop out of their tooth and and you gotta fix it all the time. This one's definitely too loose. You can tell there's a lot of wiggle in which, it. Which for me, whenever this thing, I push it too hard and my finger goes up here, it tends to get a little, it tends to move over. So I'm like, oh. But if it's too tight, it won't, it just won't spin. Now, the way that we fix this is in Simplify 3D using the horizontal compensation. Um, and other other slicers have that as well. I, I started with a 0.2, ended up being too much. In the end, a 0.02 horizontal compensation was just about perfect. Now, again, though, we got a problem with this, right? What's, what's the problem? There's no weight. Yeah, I mean, look at this. The other no thing weight. is... I have, I have this little bearing that I found online, and I wish I knew who made this bearing. I don't remember who made it, but don't, don't, don't mock me. <laughs> so this bearing, uh, in fact, let's take a look at it in Blender. Okay, so check it out right here. This is that bearing in, in uh, Blender, and I've got all three of it. It's, it consists of three parts, this okay? Co this confused me the first time I saw it, and it's a pyramid. Well, yeah, the way I've got it stretched out right now, but the way that it works is this thing creates a very thin track and this thing creates a very thin track and then they nest into each other so they all print as one part. So let's talk about uh, uh, friction and bearings and things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So uh, so rub, rub your hands with this. Okay. It kind of gets a little hot. That's because there's like a ton of friction. So if we... Now, and friction lower. robs energy. Rocks. And we want to keep the energy going as much as possible. So, friction bad. How do we reduce friction? Uh, we could do this, 
Yeah. Still friction. Still friction. Still but, uses energy. Or but less energy, so that's good. And this is this is kind of the idea of a train. Have you ever noticed that train wheels are very big? but come to a very small point and they go across a track. That's reducing. Now, they're also not sliding though. What are they doing? Rolling. So we want, and so to get like 1% friction, this actually seems to take out a lot more energy to me than it does. I mean, most of them are this. Like, well, yeah, like you this. gotta you gotta put more energy into it to make it work because of the motion of the wrist. But the idea is that rolling. So which bearing do you <laughs> think is better? this one with the rolling motion of them or this one that might roll but might also slide it also runs out a little bit faster well you you'd think though that the rolling motion was better than this one so i have created a new uh, uh bearing or a, a new spinner that took three of these put them on the side with the hit with the emmet gear bearing in the middle with the seven and we printed it out and tried, yeah, with the ones on the side, we got some fun with this. And uh, it mostly works. You gotta break them loose a little bit, right? Yeah, it takes a little time to break loose. But yeah. once you do, the farthest time that I've gotten so far is about four, not- Four three, seconds. I, I count with Here's Mississippi, and it's made it to like four, just like three Mississippi four. So, Mississippi, but what could we do to maybe make this move a little bit faster? Grease it. Well, greasing it did. Yeah, that one's still got the WD-40 on it. So that one greases it. Um, also, maybe we could make it heavier. Weight. Yeah, weight it. Now, I could but. maybe like glue ball bearings to the outside here or something yeah. like that. But we're trying to do this without adding any additional parts. Nope. However, I do have a heavier filament Problem on my shelf. Though, the entire thing is heavy. So that makes it just like basically like these, only it doesn't quite spin as long. Also, it hurts. Also, I've noticed that the that the different kinds of filament also kind of affect, seem to affect the size. Like I get a big of, like I get the exact same size spinner, but a like a, a heavier or something filament. It, it shouldn't it, affect it. It tends to somehow feel bigger in me. Yeah, it shouldn't affect yes. it, but it might affect it just a little bit. Now, I actually sense. I printed this one in the in the brass fill, bronze fill, not brass filament that I love so much um, but I recorded the time-lapse of it so do you want to watch this this being printed oh sweet Heck all yeah. right so okay. hopefully hopefully we can show something cool with this uh, cool dude yeah watching time-lapse videos is like my life I love those well time-lapse for life well it's from above it is from above well they'll they'll see it at a better angle Wow. But. okay that is that is awesome to watch the inside get all. I, I, I really enjoy, I really enjoy watching prints as they print, not over time lapse though. I, I, I just, I love watching prints. It's it's fascinating to watch. Sometimes I'll come in here. This, yeah, and, and it's not a big deal. I, I, I always come in here. It's like, it's like my meditation room. It just, it helps calm me down. I'm, I'm weird that there, way. There is something very zen about watching a 3D print lay down plastic and do its well, thing, you for know? for me, just flat out coming in here tends to help me. Mostly watching, listening to the 3D prints help. So this morning... It makes I, a cool sound, doesn't it? Yeah, this morning... I especially morning, love when it's printing a circle because it goes... na 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 I like how you can watch the gears kind of like move as it goes. Ooh. Wow. Let me see. All right, let's try it one more time to turn up speed this time. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. That's kind of neat to watch that. So I've, uh, so we printed this one in Brassville. Bronzeville. Let's test it against, which one's the best one do you think to test it against? Um. Try it against this one, ready? On your mark, get set, go. So the weight does affect it. It helps it a lot, I find. So the heavier one does go better than the lighter weight one. So uh, there we go. Wait. Now, yes. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, about the oh. same. Okay, one more time. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. 
about the same about the same so adding no, weight didn't good... really help a whole lot i do kind of like the feel of this one and i've also added the new 3d printing professor logo to this one so i will put these models uh, i have actually altered it one more time uh like this i've added a little holes to here so it's easier to get these exactly positioned properly so that you don't have to worry about pegs you just put a toothpick in there and put it on so you can download this model uh, at the link in the description Wait, just that last model well it's exactly the same as these ones however one final thing just to prove that the that the bearings we have on the side aren't as effective i took this which is basically this exact same bearing that i multiplied three times with the array modifier did some boolean <laughs> magic and then printed out so here it goes you I ready to see how like this goes so, I don't know what it would yeah be it's like going to be like two spins oh four of them well it's got to be balanced it's got to be balanced in the middle so here we go let's test it against well, five then let's five. test it against your favorite which one do you want to test it against it doesn't okay ready on your mark get set go whoa Dad? It's brand new. That, that one worked really well. Yeah. Did we waste our time on all these other ones? Maybe. Coming in here just flat out listening to the 30 prints, it's just like music. It is literal music.